Angry Dick here with Steep Country Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a velocity comparison between two different 308s of different barrel lengths. They're both the same exact gun. They're both Mossberg 308 bolt action guns, but one is a 20 inch barrel and one is a 16 inch barrel. So we're going to see what the difference is between the four inches of barrel length. As we all know, the 20 inch barrel seems to be like the ideal length for a 308. And a lot of people have 16 inch guns in the uh, AR platform. And a lot of people want to know what the velocity loss is down to a 16 inch gun. So we're going to be shooting some 150 grain Sierra Game Kings. These are my hand loads. And they're running out of my other 20 inch gun about 2850 feet per second, which is uh, probably pretty close to a factory load. We're going to run these over the two guns over the chronograph and see what kind of velocity differences we have here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the 20 inch barrel first. We have the chronograph set up. I got three rounds in here. Let's see how this goes. There's a deer up on the hill back there, but she's off to the left and up the hill. So I'm gonna shoot into the berm here. Okay, here we go. So we got 28.87. Twenty eight thirty two, twenty eight forty. So that was the twenty inch gun. Now we'll try the 16 inch gun. It's all loaded and ready to go. This is gonna be loud. Twenty-eight fourteen. That's hardly any velocity loss at all. Try that again. Twenty seven sixty six. Twenty seven fifty one. Twenty six ninety five. Add these up and then we'll let you know. Okay, so I figured the averages. So the average for the 20 inch barrel was 2,853 feet per second, which is the same as my other 20 inch gun. I said 2,850. And then the 16 inch barrel, we're getting 2,756. So that is just about 100 feet per second velocity loss. And there's four inches of barrel. So that's 25 feet per second um, per inch of barrel loss, which I've read pretty much on the internet that that's about what the 308 loses is about 25 to 30 feet per second per inch of barrel loss. That's exactly what we got here today. So with a 16 inch barrel, we're basically getting 2750, which is pretty dang good. I feel confident that that gun will still be um, pretty effective, you know, out to 500 yards, maybe further. We'll probably have to do some ballistic testing or the ballistic data, but I'm sure we'll have plenty of energy out to 500 yards. So this will be a good, good deer gun still. Okay, well, thanks for watching and please like our videos and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate everybody that's been watching and subscribing. We're really trying to get to a thousand subscribers so YouTube will take us seriously as a channel. Have a nice day. So after entering the ballistic data into the ballistic calculator, I was way off on my, you know, good out to 500 yards. Actually, so at 2,750 feet per second with a 150 grain bullet, sighted in two inches high at 100 yards, out to 300 yards, it's eight inches low at 300 yards, and it has 1,500 pounds of energy still. 
Now the old saying goes that you need like 500 pounds of energy to kill deer sized game. And we're going to have 500 pounds of energy all the way out to 900 yards still. Of course, it's uh, dropping 280 inches, but if you have a turret scope and you're using uh, minutes of angle, you would crank it up 30 minutes of angle at 900 yards and you, you still have 500 foot-pounds of energy. So a 16-inch barrel is probably still pretty effective at lots of long ranges. So I'm pretty happy with it.